Welcome to the American Baptist International Ministries On Location podcast series. We bring you the stories of IM missionaries, volunteers, and global partners as they carry the message of God's love and hope to people all around the world. My name is Nancy James and I'm a nurse. I serve with my husband, Steve, who is a family practice physician and we work in the country of Haiti. We live in town of Holimbe, located in the north of Haiti, about 12 miles from the second largest city of Haiti, Cape Haitian. We partner with international ministries of the ABC churches, the Haitian Baptist Convention, Cooperative Baptist Fellowship, as well as Medical Ambassadors International and their model of community health evangelism. We also partner with the Christian University of North Haiti, where we live in campus housing. Steve and I work with Haitian healthcare workers, which include doctors and nurses, auxiliary staff of small rural clinics. We work regularly with four clinics, helping them realize and define their goals as caregivers. Steve mentors the medical staff teaching one-on-one as they care for patients. With the help of the staff to inventory their pharmacy and supply depots and help network for supplies that are often in scarce supply. We try not to give unasked for advice, but instead to ask questions and to get the staff to dialogue together to do problem solving. Many of the clinics in rural areas have no electricity or running water and little in the way of supplies. The medical needs of Haiti are typical of many tropical developing nations, which include malaria, tuberculosis, infectious diseases, HIV, AIDS, diabetes, hypertension, mental illness, and most recently, cholera. We feel so inspired to work with many dedicated formateurs, Haitian health caregivers, and others like Dr. Mano Marius, a Haitian physician trained in the Dominican Republic, and others that are working so hard to bring education and health to the Haitian people. The ministry that we feel God has given us allows us to work together as a team of caregivers to teach, encourage, minister to those who are sick and often without hope. The medical needs of Haiti are so great, but with the help of our Haitian brothers and sisters and our ministry partners, including the churches in the U.S., Puerto Rico, and Canada, we can work together to minister to the least of these. Together, we share the love of Christ to touch lives in practical, holistic ways, caring not only for the physical, but also caring for the soul, or cure dam, as it's referred to in Haiti. A few years ago, a young teenage schoolgirl named Chrislaine became pregnant. She came from a very poor family. Her older brother was a witch doctor and was so angry at her for shaming her family that after she delivered a healthy baby girl, he put a curse on her. She immediately went into a catatonic-like coma and no one could revive her. She seemed oblivious to her surroundings and stared blankly into space, unable to eat or drink or care for herself. For months, she remained unchanged and had to be tube-fed by her family. The community gathered around Chrislen in the months that followed and prayed and sang for her for hours on end. Her aunt and uncle took her into their home and took care of not only her physical needs, but spiritual as well. Her uncle, Fred Dodo, a devout Christian and respected elder of the church, would sit next to her bed and read aloud from his Bible. It seemed to fall on deaf ears, but Frere Dodo never gave up hope that somehow she would awake from the coma. Steve and I would make home visits on Chris Land, and we began to doubt whether she would survive. Many people came to kneel by her bed, praying for God's deliverance. After the fourth month, we heard that Chris Land asked for something to eat. We couldn't believe our ears. Steve made his usual visit and called out the Haitian greeting to the house, Onea. And from within the house came the answer, respect. It was Chris Len's voice, and she walked to the door to greet Steve with a big smile. Her healing was such a testimony to God's healing and power over Satan's power of death and fear that all rejoiced. Chris Len's baby is being cared for by her former boyfriend's mother and is thriving. Chris Len has returned to school and is attending church camps and is doing well. 
Another miracle is that Chrislen's brother has burned all his witch doctor fetishes and has become a follower of Jesus. We would like to thank all of you who have loved, prayed for, and supported with generosity the work in Haiti. Your love and outreach has made a difference in the lives of the Haitian people. We have experienced the power of your prayers during the crisis in Haiti in the past two years since the earthquake and the cholera epidemic. Your compassion and love in action has made a difference in countless ways. Your financial support has provided immediately financial relief for the earthquake victims. It has helped rebuild homes and provided medicines and IV serums during the recent cholera epidemic. It has helped provide tuition for students who lost their schools and all their belongings and even lost many family members. We thank you on behalf of our Haitian brothers and sisters, as well as our family. Merci en pile pour tout ou fait pour ser et frère yo haïtien nan nom de Jésus-Christ. Nous remeyou, bon Dieu bénis We want to say thank you on behalf of all our Haitian brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus Christ. We love you and may God bless you. Nancy James is an American Baptist International Ministries missionary and a nurse, serving with her husband, Dr. Steve James, in partnership with the Haitian Baptist Convention. Thank you for the support of their ministry. International Ministries is a global Christian mission organization that helps people come to Christ, grow in Christ, and change their worlds with Christ. To learn more about Steve and Nancy's ministry in Haiti, or to become a part of their ministry through your financial resources, visit our website at internationalministries.org.